because there's uh, difficult to snapshots that uh, we have. So the project uh, wouldn't be that difficult. We could also have a weekly package or something, or so. Mm -hmm. Is it is it possible to stop the nightly builds at that date where we have a release candidate, so that uh, nobody tends to use another nobody nightly that new the, the commits afterwards don't work? Uh, we can get two, two builds or rename that or something. Okay. And we could also do a, a standalone developer from one snapshot. That's what I was thinking to do. Is like on the day of the snapshot, just check out the latest yes. OSGF for W and create also a, a standalone build. Automate it. Can, can we automate that easily? Yeah, just yeah. we take the, the package from OSGF for W and package that. Yeah. Using the script that just fetches the packages as of now and creates a standalone yeah. and okay. start from it. So, so the idea would be to automate everything so that we have to do that work once and we just have a yeah. big red button we say today is release candidate one and you can test against that and file tickets and um, there is the the issue always anyway of like um, you, you find a bunch of bugs and you report them your expectation is that they're all going to be fixed for the release no, not, uh, all, not all the bugs the critical the, ones the all the critical ones yeah so yeah. if, if or not? I would say the critical part. I mean, one thing that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with is that we have uh, tickets marked as uh, very, very important, highly something, and we <coughs> do that. Uh, in my view, we should either downgrade it, or we should maybe, but that we, we, yeah. we, we know that we have reported that and we shout for any small thing, so we can downgrade it. Or we should solve it. Yeah. I think shifting something that we know for sure that has critical bugs, that we agree that it has critical bugs, mm -hmm. we don't do it. If we, we, if we don't, sorry? we didn't do that, what did we? No, we still have a uh, highly critical something uh, bugs. Yeah, and okay, we, but, but uh, nothing we really, uh, uh, that's just a state in the bug tracking system, but yeah, so we, 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 we knew that we probably would downgrade it. Yeah. So what, what I'm saying is before releasing, we, we should at least look at this uh, perhaps 10 bugs or so, and we decided that they're not really important, so we don't really. I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But they're not but fine some, with I mean, that. Yeah, so a critical bug for me is something that crashes QGIS or your computer, or destroys your data. Uh, yeah, or make it unusable, unusable for a sizable proportion of users. Yeah, but uh, uh, I mean, that's what, that, I mean, critical is in the eye of the beholder. For me, I just, you know, if it's unusable, yes, sure, okay. If you can't load a rest of it, for example, or something like yeah. that. But, but um, uh, I think that there will still be times, even with critical bugs, that we, we just say, like, okay, it crashes in a specific situation with a specific kind of data. It's, we downgrade it to not critical because, okay, yeah. and that crashes, but... Right. But for oh, sorry, instance, in uh, yeah. 1.7.3, it was not possible to open the WMS uh, property title because it crashed quantum layer. If we had a testing team, probably yeah. the, the result of the test was not to ship yeah. with that, yeah. uh, that bug. But from now on, we will have a testing team okay. and that will solve all yeah. that thing. Uh, and, and well, and we don't have backports that break things. Yeah, because that's gone because we have one, one uh, yeah. branch. And we have unit tests so that eventually, the testing team is great yeah. for now, but I mean, humans shouldn't be doing this work. Yeah. Computers should be doing this. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, especially for regressions, when there's a regression, there should be a, a test to replicate it and then fixed and then we never have that regression again. Yeah. So if we if we get the testing framework all on board, and we we train people to write tests and get them enthusiastic to write tests, then uh, your group will fade gloriously into the sunset. <laughs> 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 never be needed. I mean, sure, there will always be needing human testing, but 
that we should be able to rely on the automated testing to decide when to do a release rather than having to have a, a group of people. Um, then insisted that I, sh that I do this. <laughs> oh no, wrong way. E, C, C. So that I could, I can do my presentation with it. So, um, so this would be like the new workflow. We work on master, we have like a timed interval maybe. We follow like the GNOME or the, uh, the Ubuntu time schedule as well. I don't know. I mean, we're not in there. We're not in Ubuntu anyway, so it doesn't really matter what, what that six months is. But the six month thing only works if the testing team says there's no bugs. And so it's kind of like, I don't think we can be so fixed as to exactly six months. Or we have to tell the testing team, sorry, six months is here and we have to release. Um, and then during there would be a freeze, and during that freeze, the new work, which should, anyway, should, new work should be happening in branches. Um, work would continue in branches, and then after the freeze, people can merge back into into master. Um, and then the string freeze would be on master, not on the branch. And the translators would work on master, and solve one problem that Werner had: that the translators are complaining, why must I translate in multiple places? And um, and then we won't have 0.0, .0 uh, uh, minor releases except if it's really something critical soon after the release. So, so there won't be 1.8.1, 1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're just going to go on to 9, 10, 11, 12, 20, and then 2.0. Uh, and then, but the idea is for now, 1.8 should be really the very, very last release before 2. Um, and uh, we, we should just take what we have now. Marcus, few API breakages and some API cleanups, and put it to. And if we have to do three in a year's time, that's okay as well. And I don't see why um, we need to wait for longer for that. So, um, Werner thinks this will make you feel happy and good inside, knowing that we're doing the same way Linus does. Uh, but yeah, so. There, I mean, there are other models that we've looked at as well. We have, they have many, many branches and hot fixed branches and things, and it's so complicated. And uh, I think just to, especially if you want to get new people in the project, you make it easy for them. Just work on your branch, give us a merge request. If it's good, we'll commit it to master, and then it will be in the next release. It's very simple. Um, so that's it. So, so if you all agree, I'm going to like go home and and tag, uh, uh, to do feature, f no, I'll, I'll, I'll announce a feature freeze. So that will be Tuesday or so. And then uh, we'll give you some time to get your, when, when is your test team getting to, is it, a, 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 I'm looking at you, Vanya, um, is it a physical group of people in the same room or is uh, it a no, virtual community? No, it will be a, definitely a virtual community. I have, uh, Two or three person available in Portugal and other <coughs> people that usually do write and mailing list. Uh, so we'll give you a, like a week window to do testing or something. Is that how much do you? Uh, I was thinking about a couple of weeks. So if we uh, um, if we three weeks freeze. Yeah. No, but the thing is that you need testing and bug fixing. So if, if, if you're going to give us, you're going to give us the bug reports as you find them. But if you come on uh, the third, uh, the last uh, day of the third week, up to you. I'm here to serve you. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you give us like a, a hundred bug reports on the last day of the third week, uh, then okay. it's like so. Yeah, but I. But we were wanting just the critical things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, they I managed to crash it. Report back yeah. bugs as usual, and but uh, send to someone here uh, to point to the new critical ones and, re and regressions. And so in in theory, will I hopefully will not be a lot. Yeah. Actually, I think we would need uh, new fabric blockers. 
on mm -hmm. any reason not we can agree on something as a yeah, not really. so. Yeah. And so maybe if, if you yeah. see that the progression of our special case for users, because I'm used to do my work, I download a new shiny QTS yeah, I couldn't uh, do what I used to do. Nine, and all the things that, well, yeah. quite a few of the things that I used to do, I have to work anymore, and then I get really crazy. Yeah. So that's something that's uh, I want to make the suggestion then is that um, because like I know for myself I don't look enough at the bug queue and a lot of other people don't like when we're in this period maybe just at the end of each week send an email to the developer list saying these are the black blockers that are in the queue with a yeah. link to the tickets and the thing just with the title of it so that people are a bit more aware of what's going on yeah I mean we need to like also yeah. free up the the engine room for other people to, you know, I mean, Jürgen obviously is watching what's going on, but I think other people, if they knew what's going on, they might be more inclined to to help sure. to fix things. And, um, uh, and the other thing I wanted to say is that in the release team, I mean, I'm very pleased um, Werner and uh, Alex have sort of joined in the team now. <coughs> but Werner's doing like 10 other things in the project as well, so I, I, I want to feel like I'm abusing her a bit, but um, if there are other people that want to help in the release process, so we would really can use the help. We used to have people to help write with the, the write up the change uh, log, you know, that the nice thing that I only do with the pictures and the what's new, kind, not the change log like the machine readable one, but for the press announcements. It's called the news file. The now. news file now. Since yeah. half an hour. And that's a really, <laughs> that's a really boring kind of thing yeah. to do, but um, and we, there are a lot of like, menial tasks that we have to do for every release, especially when we do the point release. So if there are people in the room who've got... But can't we make uh, every few hours most of the things automatic in a way? Well, the, the, I mean, the, 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 the change log is done automatically now, yeah. but the news file, as suggested by the uh, GNU project, is only the big parts that yeah. change it's a highlight from a user yeah. point yeah. of view. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a highlight, so what you can look forward yeah. to. And, yeah. and that yeah. needs a human to do. Okay. And also, um, just the uh, keeping all the things in line. So like, uh, there, I've got this checklist of like hundreds of, well, I don't know how many things are on the checklist, but a lot of things that need to get done. Some of it we can automate, but some of it is just very manual. So. Um, if there are people out there that are interested to join in the release team, or we can use some well, Perhaps we can do it on a uh, task, on a task basis. I mean, I could say yeah. one. I have, if, if I have the list. Yeah, I have list something, I've shown Ben, I've something up my sleeve to sort of um, make the whole process much smoother. The yeah. web application I've been writing to, to do it, but, um, but it's not ready yet for, mm -hmm. so maybe for version 2 we can use it. And that, that, that application will basically let me allocate a task to a person and then they can check it off and it's like a, just a workflow manager. Yes, my well, dream, maybe, would be to, to have much smoother releases so we can do this. Like clock level, level, if you like. Yeah. The mechanism, I think, should be very easy. I mean, we have at least a shiny new feature tomorrow. Yeah. We go freeze and, and release. Then we have eight months where there is mostly work yeah. under the hood, nothing yeah. really shiny to, to show people, uh, and we can postpone for a while. I'm not so comfortable with the fixed release because I think we yeah. should release every month if we have good things that we, yeah. Yeah, if we yeah. don't. There, there are two types of people out there. One are demanding yeah. a new feature, and they want to have a new release after they have feature integrated, yeah. and the other ones complain about why do you read such often, I, yeah, I, yeah. especially the IT people of companies, yeah. so they hate I cannot do a, yeah. a but it's ro it's roll stupid. out every month. It's stupid yeah. because they can just skip five versions and then roll the sixth one into their company. Yeah. I mean that it's, it's a, it's a non-argument really, I mean, yeah. it's like saying you give, give me too many birthday presents. Well, just open one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, I think for these, the, the news uh, are really crucial. So I can decide, in my case, if it's really yeah. worth the while to up, upgrade, yeah. you know, uh, after two months. <laughs> but I have this, the three new features, I need it, I upgrade, I go yeah. with it. Or maybe the old things that I don't yeah. use, I can skip this release and wait for the next one. So if we have a, a very nice and uh, clear news, we can help people in the sign of this. The, the but news this shouldn't, sorry, 
shouldn't impact on our decision of releasing. Yeah. Because I think we should release as we we are happy with. You know, mostly. I I don't feel very comfortable of releasing in the six months. Well, it happened that really. the six months uh, happened in a period where things are a bit unstable because we have done major changes, or I plan to do something in the next month, and uh, I would like to have it, you know, things like that. So I think we should be a bit more flexible. But for this, having a smoother release is really crucial. If every release takes one month of work from team from uh, somebody else, then we, we need we to lower the, the pain barrier so that it's like yeah, yeah. Click a switch and it then it goes up. Um, can we add, um, I'm just wondering uh, how how does all this fit into our current situation of uh, preparing for 2.0 release and breaking things? In well, that's what I was saying. Um, we we all sort of dreaming of like. Um, the shiny 2.0, which has got so many big changes, but I think that we must actually realize that um, there are a few small API changes that, like Marco is introducing, and that we want to do by deprecating all you know junk out of the API. And we should just release that as 2.0. If you've got like specific, like your your threading branch, you're also going to break API with that, right? Uh, yeah. So if you've got specific things that you want us to wait for, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> But um, <laughs> then, then we sort of just plan for those few things and we don't try to um, uh, like specifically go out and change as many other things as possible. We, we put out 2.0, we live with that even if it's for a year only, and we do 3.0 with the next API break in another year's time, you know, so that... Mm. Because uh, like for, for me personally, uh, there are several things that uh, need breaking and really strong breaking, like change of the API of uh, uh, Python, so uh, which version of API of PyQt is used. This is something which affects virtually all plugins out there. You must do that immediately after 1.8, I mean, well, if you have time to do it, but that's the idea, is that? Yeah, that's, that's a change for few lines of code, but the, the impact is huge. Yeah, but that's uh, the point. I mean, then so. there is the uh, removing of uh, old symbology. Like this can be r removing <coughs> it is maybe not that hard. Much harder is you know like um, put everything <laughs> together again. The, 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 there was one objection for that is that we lose the uh, the value range. Uh, it was one of the um, symbology types that we don't have. Unique value. You mean unique value? Uh, was it unique? Uh, wasn't it graduate to uh, one of the one of the renderers isn't in the view. We we do symbology in Android. I thought everything works in Android. We don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, but but and and the the old labeling. Yeah, removing all labeling. So the, like, these are things that may be used by various plugins and various places. Yeah. And we must break it, and we we're gonna just be careful to tell people what broke and what's changed. And the understanding is that the <coughs> almost everybody with a <coughs> plugin is gonna be adjusting their code to the new version. Yeah, um, then, then I'm just worried that uh, we will get again to the situation that we will break things for 2.0 and then shortly after it, in a few months, we will realize that for, for the threading stuff, uh, we need to break another bunch of things and in uh, half a year, we will release huge 3.0 and we will uh, be with the same uh, compatibility problems as we were before. And with people complaining that it's impossible to create plugins because yeah. the API changes all the time. Sorry, there's a stunt driver outside. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> Martin, I mean, we, we, we can't keep everybody happy, so either yeah, we yeah. have to develop the software I and we live with the criticism. <laughs> yeah, exactly, we must be happy. No, I mean, we try to keep people as happy as best we can, but if it doesn't make sense, to, I mean, to, or we don't have the resources to do it, then we, c we must just go on and people will catch up. And uh, I think that, um, like, in the cases, like, that, like we do 3.0 in a year's time or something, if we can just provide them with some guidelines on how to migrate their plugin, that's quite clear. And we have a mechanism in the plugin repository that you get a plugin that matches your version of QGIS, that, you know, will work on your version of QGIS. I think that's fine. I think the work that Alessandro's doing for the plugin repository, we can manage that so that when you're using version 2, you'll get a plugin which works with version 2. And, um, and uh, of course, I don't think we, in reality, we're going to release more than like one major API breakage in a year or even in two, probably in two years, I mean, given history. So we've had 1.0 for how long has it been? Like uh, three, four years, yeah? three years. So I think it's probably not too much to worry about. So, so this new release plan will be applied immediately from 1.8? Yeah, so I'm proposing to basically throw away the branch we've made already. Because it's already, a, that branch is already a nightmare because it was branched very early, six months ago, and then we rebranched it. But even still, as, as soon as you branch it, things are happening in master and you're trying to keep it in sync. And we would rather make the branch after we've got to the point of release rather than before, so that we don't need to maintain these two parallel streams. And so the 1.7 branch, uh, that one will be also <coughs> abandoned? In terms of maintenance? Yeah, and backports and things will stop on that, yeah. So, um, Unless, you know, if there's somebody out there who really wants to maintain it, well, we won't stop them, but um, I think within our, within our circle, we will stop maintaining it. Yeah. If we become a huge Mozilla project one day and we've got, you know, teams and teams of people, we can maintain all these different branches, then everything will change. But if we, if we, you know, five, I don't know how many people are actively committing, but say there's five to ten of us that are actively committee, uh, you know, it just doesn't make sense. What should we vote? Yeah, what's the, what are we voting for to release, uh, freeze uh, 1.8 on Tuesday, and I write back on the, on the, on my trip. Oh, Vanna can do it in here, else. <laughs> yeah, so all in favor of freezing 1.8 on Tuesday after Tim arrives well, back from his trip. More generally speaking, that means you work well. Cure master S 1.8 on Thursday. With including, uh, including a few very small API breakages in the Composer, which yeah. we will uh, make clear to people have happened and apologize profusely yeah. for. Yeah. So, okay. uh, everybody in favor of the new release strategy, raise your hand yeah. and say <laughs> aye. Aye. <laughs> Horst does not like this strategy. Uh, <laughs> you want to say something? No, it's okay. No, you can say it. it's, um, it's a meritocracy. <laughs> <laughs> Was there people that who didn't raise their hands? Who doesn't like the idea? So that we can no idea. pick on you? I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. You don't care either way. You're yeah. a zero. Zero. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Flat line. Plus, plus zero or minus zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, there was something else? Yeah. Yeah. No. Blocker. Blocker yeah. just for the testers and the developers. Yeah. So yeah. a tester can create a blocker ticket and the developer, if he doesn't agree, can un yeah. lower. And, and, and will you guys make like a weekly uh, summary of the blockers and okay. yeah. try to draw a bit of attention to it? Yeah. 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 And maybe we can release some tools like what's important to happen in BlockQ or 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think the, the problem with the, the red mine, I mean, it's great, the red mine, but it's a lot of work, you know, to jump around between all the different things we have in the project. So if it just comes to us in the developer list, for me, like the developer list is the central place I hear about things and then other. Yeah. It just comes to us once a week saying, oh, there's a new bug here. Okay. Okay. For the format change log file and the now called news file, it would be really nice if the developers mark all new really important features as feature in the uh, uh, commit commits. Should be, yeah. We have a convention, yeah, but course. just yeah, to remind you. Yeah. So that it's, it's, it improves well, the speed of creating the news yeah. file <coughs> a lot. Yeah. If you forget to do it uh, when, you, when you commit. Uh, yeah, what I normally do is I make a silly small yeah, commit know, afterwards, know, just yeah, yeah, say yeah. a nominal commit to yeah. remind yeah. about it. It would be also helpful once there is a draft such a news file to just uh, yeah. put a message on the mailing list like uh, if right. you have developed anything worth mentioning and it's it not there yeah. already just take a look okay. add it or yeah. Yeah. so the developer knows what, what he has done yeah. so yeah. Okay. maybe he can add it yeah. right. okay. um, does anybody learn, interested in a quick thing on how to make a unit test later or today before we go? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah? Uh, shall I do it now? Well, mm -hmm. uh, can I use your computer? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll maybe prepare something better for the next hack test, but I'll just show you the five minute version now, like where to go. Uh, what, what By the way, you've already finished the discussion on the release. I think we should start thinking uh, about some general ideas uh, of uh, when to integrate the uh, plugin into master. Because I see a major advantage in it. You wanted to discuss the uh, DB manager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. General thing, I think we should, well, that's make a decision, but have uh, an idea. So my yeah. view is always better to do it inside, and so I know that you know, not everybody is happy with that. So. I think if it's, uh, my opinion is if it's cross-cutting functionality, like a lot of people will use it, and uh, yeah. and it's a well put together plugin, and um, uh, we wanted to ship, you know, we want people to have it in their hands when they get QGIS, we should yeah. just put it in. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I think that's why I'm, I'm saying, because I see uh, quite a few plugins that are really uh, very important, very used, and yeah. it would be more used if, if they were in master. Uh, then I think we should say the Aqua plugin. Yeah, and my argument for, for shipping it with is that, um, like where I come from, a lot of people don't have internet, good internet. So yeah. what they get with QGIS is what they use. So they yeah. don't really get more plugins very easily. And, and, yeah, so. and if, it, if you don't have this technological problem, hopefully you have a psychological problem. Because I need something in the channel, you know, yeah. it's scary yeah. to, to people. So. I think we should try and put everything that is necessary inside. So why not invite people from uh, from Zambia to 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 the address in master just now before the free. Good, yeah, and uh, and the DB manager as well, and the, and the spit we're gonna. We're, should we uh, also mention we want to throw a spit away and replace the DB manager? Okay. It's a good time to to do things when everyone's thinking about copy. Uh, sorry. No, I said it's a good time to make decisions when everybody is uh, thinking about copy and something else. <laughs> something. <laughs> Yeah, short break. Yeah. But, uh, uh, that's what happened uh, this week. I'll say goodbye to you. Nice to see you again. I, I saw some people when I was coming here, like holding a phone under the scanner, and it seemed to work. But I'm um, also planning to go to the next one. You want to print something? Yeah. 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 Yeah.